Welcome cuties, let's create! Good afternoon everybody. I'm excited for this craft because it turns out so cute. But I do have to admit there is a bit of a learning curve for one of the parts of this craft. So you kind of have to be a little careful because it may be a little bit difficult and you may get injured. I don't want anybody to get injured, but it is a possibility. So getting started, we are making a gingerbread house out of boxes and hot glue. So what I did is I had this extra box laying around and I figured that everyone has boxes during Christmas time um, because you're getting a lot of packages and especially because it's a lot easier these days because I'm realizing I'm saying because a lot but Amazon gives you boxes so I figured if you're ordering from Amazon or ordering online at all you will probably will receive a box and your item will be in that box so I decided to use a box to try and create just a little decoration that I can use around my house and to see if I could do a gingerbread house and me and my husband we did like a traditional gingerbread house and it's really difficult um, using the kits that they give you the icing never turns out it's always like going everywhere so it doesn't look nice <laughs> but you try anyway so I was like I want to see if I could make a really cute nice looking gingerbread house that I could you know and at first I wasn't going to keep this. I was just going to do it for the video and then delete it, it or delete it, <laughs> throw it in the trash um, once, you know, the Christmas season was up. But I really like how this turned out. So I'm keeping it and it's going to be a decoration every year because it's so cute. So what I have is I cut apart this box and this is just one of the sides of the box and I measured it out so it was pretty perfect, not pretty perfect, but um, even. Uh, both, both of the sides would be an even um, a length so one wouldn't be longer than the other. And it turned out pretty well I was able to get and that's the thing is you, I I did a smaller one um, just because you know I'm in an apartment and I don't have a lot of space <laughs> and storage so mine's small this sits just like on um, an end table or whatever so that's kind of what I did and um, but you can make it any size. I mean, you could technically make it out of the whole box, but this is what I did. And you can do the same or you can do whatever. Like, it really doesn't matter. That's the nice thing about crafting is it really can be custom made and you can do your own thing. There's no right or wrong way um, to crafting. I mean, even people will... You think of like knitting, right? People use knitting needles, but... We have also learned that you can use your arms to make a blanket. So there's just no right or wrong. You know, it's that's the awesome thing about creating is you get to be expressive and yeah. So anyway, so I made sure that these were the right size. You know, you can see I trimmed a little bit and I glued all the sides together on the inside. So I don't have a bottom to this little gingerbread house um, so I glued everything on the inside to have that really good structure and then I will then hot glue on the outside as well to use as icing and I will show you in a little bit how that works out because it is a little tricky I'm not gonna lie it was it was kind of difficult but I got it to work out so Please be careful when using sharp tools. <laughs> Please. I used an X-Acto knife to kind of score the, um, what's this called? The cardboard. 
and so I could get a cleaner edge and then went off with my uh, scissors. You will see that I'm hot gluing and I don't end up liking it and it was nice because I was actually able to peel off the hot glue for the outside um, and I was able to redo it and again I will show you how I do it in just a second um, but right here me painting is the official like I like how the frosting looks and everything looks good I was gonna leave it with the cardboard color but then I decided against it <laughs> and decided to paint it because that's more fun at first I had this lighter brown decided oh well you know, gingerbread is actually darker and I don't end up keeping it. I didn't like it. And so off camera, I'm sorry, this actually has a lot of off camera work um, because I get <laughs> really nervous. Um, I don't know. It's just something that my brain, it freaks out and like can't handle it. It just can't handle it or something. The pressure. <laughs> But I end up doing a gradient from a light brown to a dark brown. And with painting hot glue, you have to let it dry. Okay, I'll talk about that in a second. This is important when doing the frosting. You do a really thick layer of hot glue. And you kind of tilt that to whatever side to make it look really gloppy or to kind of run off to one side. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to push down with the gravity and I'm starting to get this kind of edge that looks like frosting. While the glue is still clear, I'm going to go on the other side and make it so I can have it run down on the other side. You have to do it while the glue is clear because I have a hot, no, a high temperature hot glue gun. So this makes the hot glue even more liquidy and hot. And this is important to do it while it's hot because if you wait till it cools completely, you will see each individual uh, layer of hot glue that you put. While it's still clear, you're able to add more and more and it will melt and fuse together. High temperature hot glue guns work best for this craft, not low temperature ones. I do have both and I used my high temperature one. Now, as you can see, I'm about to show you how I did the frosting on the sides. So as you can look, I'll point here in just a second of what I'm gonna show you and how I get that drippy look. So I wanted that part right there. So since it's at an angle already, and you don't have to have this part, but I thought it was kind of cool, is I get a huge glob of hot glue and because of the way that it's slanted to the side it automatically kind of slides off and this one I obviously I'm kind of slanting it to the side anyway and as you can see gravity is pulling it down and if it's not going fast enough you can always while it's clear add more hot glue and that will make it more drippy. So if you want a thicker section, do it while it's clear and it will look more uniform and you won't have these strips of hot glue. So I did have some that obviously didn't uh, drip all the way down and I had some that actually dripped all the way down to the, the desk, but I was able to, you know, it, it turned out fine. I just ended up cutting it. So that's how I did that. Back to painting to hot glue. Painting hot glue, you have to do it layer by layer, okay? The first layer is going to be super clear. You have to lay it on thick because, and you have to let it dry completely. You have to be careful because you may end up, um, lifting some of the previous layer. So you have to be very careful and wait for it to dry. So then what I did is, as you can see on the side, I have these green and red dots. And 
I just got hot glue and I just made these little circles and then I ended up painting them and I decided to do that and then I would paint on any other things that I wanted. So this isn't anything super glamorous or super cool, like it's not fully decked out. I just did a couple of things and I again I apologize because <laughs> I will get frustrated and I will stop recording and I'll see if I can fix it and then I will forget to record again and so then I end up doing a lot off camera and then I'm like oh yeah I need to kind of show what it looks like. So I apologize because this happens a lot in this video um, just because the hot glue was kind of hard to um, figure out because I did wait it I did wait for it to dry completely and then did you know another layer and it looked really chunky and so I was able to kind of go through and use this learning curve and figured out how hot glue works um, for this particular project. So I am just kind of sketching out what I want my front door to look like. I figured um, candy canes would look cute and then a big round peppermint on top and then I just paint those and I also paint windows as well but everything else I just used those dots that I made and I just kind of glued them wherever I wanted and that's just kind of what I did and it was really fun and it was I mean you can decorate you can decorate it however you want once I got to this part um you know, I could add as much as I wanted to, but I kept it pretty simple. So here I went in with a paintbrush and was going to paint everything. But then I have, I th oh shoot, I think it's called an embossing tool. I'll have to double check, but it has just a little ball on the end. And I ended up using that for a lot of the painting for um, the detail work. I used it for the whole thing on, so this tool right here that I'm using, I use it actually quite a bit, but um, for like big spaces, um, for example, the door when I painted it brown I used a paintbrush and I am sorry that apparently my camera is not sitting still but um, so I did get a little bit of this and then I waited for it to dry and then again like I said I forgot to keep recording and <laughs> so this is the final product I think it turns out so cute oh my gosh I seriously think it's the most adorable thing ever. I ran out of glue dots, so just ignore that there's not two upper green ones on top of that row on the roof, but I think it's super cute and it's super fun, super easy, and all you need is box and hot glue and paint. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, give the video a like or a comment, stay a while and watch a couple more episodes, and until next time, keep creating!